Well, false positive and false negative test results have become a growing concern nationwide. Today, local health officials showed us the testing methods they use in their efforts to provide accurate results. KSBY News reporter Gina Avalos is live at Marion Regional Medical Center in Santa Maria with more on that story. Gina. Health officials here at the Marianne Regional Medical Center tell me they use multiple testing platforms. Each platform is designed to suit specific characteristics of each individual. So we have so many different testing platforms because we can't get consistent tests on any one platform. Health officials say this helps minimize false positive and false negative results. The growing concern that was brought up last week at the Santa Barbara County Public Health Department live briefing. Because what you don't want is somebody walking around in the community who actually has the disease, who's been told by a, by a physician after running a test that they don't actually have the disease. We have rapid test, high sensitivity test, and high capacity test. Again, each one has a unique clinical situation where they're best suited. Even with the five different platforms, false positive and false negative results are still a possibility. These tests are set to have false positives. We don't want to miss anybody who has COVID, who has potentially has COVID-19. We know that we're going to have to sort out results that don't make sense. The false negative rate at Marianne Regional Medical Center is only about 2%, according to Dr. Ferguson. He says it's important to follow up with your doctor when you get those test results back no matter the result. All testing has known false negative and false positive results, so it's important not to just accept that test result. If it doesn't fit with the clinical picture, some type of follow-up testing or evaluation needs to be performed. Health officials say they are in daily contact with the Santa Barbara County Health Department to make sure the people who are suspected of getting those false positive or false negative results can get retested. For now, live in Santa Maria, Gina Avalos, KSBY News. All right, Gina, thank you. The San Luis Obispo County Public Health Department says the tests it uses are 99 to 100% specific, and the department says they've not had any false positive or false negative tests since the pandemic began.